Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to optimize your Divi's site logos image with global presets. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to go to this post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. All right, so we need to scroll down here until we find this um, part, which says download for free, because this is where the preset is. So I'm just going to add my email address and click on download. So this is going to download our preset on to our computer. So I'm going to click here on download the files and here we go. Next, I'm going to come over here, show in finder, and I just need to double click here so that I open this file. This is the file that we need. Now I'm going to come over here to my website and then come all the way down here to Divi Divi library. This is where I need to add my preset. Okay, so I'm going to come over here, click on import. Now, let me find that file I just downloaded. And this is on my downloads folder. I'm just going to navigate to it. And here it is. I'm just going to drag this over here, just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to click on import presets, and then import Divi builder layouts. So all my presets now are going to be imported. All right, so what we're going to do now is to go over here to our theme builder because this is where we need to create our header. So I'm going to click here on add global header, build global header. So this now is going to take us into our builder. I'm going to build this from scratch and I'm going to start with this column layout right here. And then I'm going to add my image. I'm going to select it. So if I come over here, we are going to have different image sizes that we can add onto our site. And if we come over here to the top, you can see we have logo left, logo right, logo left, and so on. And these are all different sizes. So this is where I get to choose the one I want. So I'm going to go and choose this one right here. And then I'm going to choose my logo. And it's this logo right here. Next, I'm going to come over here to design alignment and make sure everything is all centered. So the really cool thing about these presets is you can go in and customize this one right here. And then you can click on this drop down and create a new preset from the current style. So this is very, very powerful if you wanted to uh, make further adjustments to the, pre the presets that we already have. Okay, so... Now that I've uh, selected my logo, we can, you know, we can just play around with our layout here. So let's say I need to add my menu. I can just click on this uh, plus button here and search for my menu. And uh, for now, I'm going to use main menu and I can go in here into my design, go to my menu text and change my font to say poppins. I can make it all caps and change the size and make it bigger. So as you can see, I'm now building my header and this is basically with my existing preset that I have over here. So let's say you want to go with a totally different layout. We can just go over here, go to our image module here, go into design, alignment, center. And now we've just centered our logo. And then over here, we could do the same as well. I can come over here to my design layout and then centered as well. So as you can see, I can come up with different layouts, but the most important thing is over here, my logo has different sizes I can choose from from our presets. So if I come over here on my presets, I can choose the sizes that I want to go with. So if your logo is 400 by 100 and you choose this, it gets left aligned and it will maintain the size of that logo. But since we have a square, I am just going to keep things very simple and just make sure that I have my logo right here. But as you can see, this is left centered. So if I need it centered, I'll just have to come over here and make sure that my logo is centered. Now, what you could also do is if you wanted to have the positioning of this logo on different screen sizes, all you have to do is to come over here Let's say in this case, we want to choose tablet. And um, so you can come over here to our presets and then you can play around with the size here. Okay. 
So remember, these are presets. We still need to go in and change our logo. So I'm going to come over here. So you can see here we have a few, you know, different sizes. So this one here is 250 by 150. So if I come over here to my presets, I can select my 250 by 150 over here. And that's the size I'm going to have on my mobile device. And in this case, it's a tablet. Now let's head over back to our content. So back over here on our image, if I went to the phone, you can see here that this is way too big. So to fix that, I can just come over here. First of all, I can change the logo. And this time I want to go with, uh, okay, let's go with this one here because we haven't used that. Okay. Now I can come to my presets and then choose my preset. So let's say it's 400 by 100. You can see just by doing that, I've set my size. So all our presets here work really well, depending on the screen size that we want and also the layout and the design that we need. Okay. So now that all this is done, I can just save this. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified when we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.